Black Ram 313 for the T-H-O-T-T Network. It's been a long time since I produced a video like this, but since I've been following Lori Harvey because of her ways, as you know, and being in a relationship with Michael B. Jordan, I just had to cover this. I have to put my two cents in on this. Here's the article title from Media Takeout. Michael B. Jordan spotted out with a snow bunny just one day after announcing separation from Lori Harvey. I'm going to read this article and I'm going to give my commentary, of course. Check it out and quote. Yesterday, Michael B. Jordan and his longtime girlfriend, Lori Harvey, announced to People magazine that they were splitting up. Now, just one day later, Media Takeout viewed social media reports that Michael was spotted out in Hollywood with the woman described as a Kardashian looking snow bunny. Michael and Lori were one of the hottest African-American couples in the world. They were both young, rich and beautiful. But before dating Lori, Michael had a reputation of preferring to date a different type of woman, in particular, non-melanated women. Media Takeout confirms that the last two serious relationships were both with women who could be classified as non-melanated. And if social media reports are to be believed, Michael appears to be back to his old habits. According to one tweeter who claims to go to the same Hollywood gym as the Creed star, Michael has been spotted at the gym with a pretty brunette who is described by this tweeter as Kardashian looking. The Kardashian sisters all have a signature look, black hair, an olive complexion, and an extraordinary large and fake body parts. The tweeter claimed that Michael and the non-melanated woman appeared to be more than just friends as they laughed and hugged each other before entering the gym together, allegedly. In the past, Michael has defended his choice of dating snow bunnies. Once he was caught on vacation with a group of blondes and was forced to explain why there was not one single melanated woman in the group. Michael B. Jordan stated in regards to that, Quote, y'all bugging. Yes, I'm on vacation right now. OK, I'm traveling around. Jordan said on the IG live video. Newsflash is not a lot of melanated women in Italy. It's just not. Sorry. I'm reading through the comments and ish and y'all tearing your boy up. It's too much. Man, y'all doing too much. He then went on to explain that he likes all shades of ladies. I like milk. I like chocolate. I like almond milk, strawberry milk, and you know the cinnamon toast crunch milk. That's pretty good. Break. And I can agree with you there, Mr. Michael B. Jordan. So that's the end of the article from Media Takeout News. Now let's talk about this. Michael B. Jordan, as we know, has been voted the most attractive male in the world a few times. I'm not sure when I don't really keep up. I remember hearing it in passing. And of course, Lori Harvey is a very beautiful woman. And of course, this is a what kind of channel? It's a ratings channel. Yes, indeed, it is a ratings channel. So I have to give Lori Harvey a rating. And you know what? In all honesty, Lori Harvey is a very beautiful woman. I believe the hair is natural. Her complexion almost says perfection. She's one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood, although she's famous for nothing besides being the stepdaughter of Steve Harvey and also her times with P. Diddy, P. Diddy's son, this guy and that guy riding the carousel going from guy to guy to guy to guy. She is a huge carousel rider and she's popular for it and I'm sure a rich woman for it just like Kim Kardashian but I have to give Lori Harvey a score of an 8 to an 8.5 because she is extremely beautiful but Michael said no more 
with Lori. Because here's the thing. We know that relationships are what? Carousel breaks for the fee beast. It seems like they're saying that Michael B. Jordan ended the relationship, but I'm willing to bet that Lori Harvey is the one who ended the relationship because we know that the beast must leave to go on to bigger and better things. No pun there. Your typical fee beast cannot stay in a relationship more than a few years and definitely, definitely can't stay in a relationship for a lifetime. That is almost impossible. So I'm sure Lori wants to go and explore, as she's been doing pretty much since she's been an adult, go explore different men, situations, and relationships. You cannot turn the H to the Izzo into a housewife, and nothing about such an H to the Izzo can ever be long term. Now, if you think about Lori, I mean, she has been around dealing with so many different guys. And I noticed that nobody shames her for it. We live in a different world today. Nobody criticizes her for it. In fact, it's almost as if she's congratulated for it. But the problem is that any person taking her seriously must know, must realize that such a one as Lori Harvey cannot pair bond, cannot love. Sure, it can be fireworks. Sure, it can be chemistry in the sack. Oh, yeah, sure. She can be appealing to the eyes. But as far as a deep emotional connection and bond, she's demonstrated over and over again that this is impossible for her. Being young, she's looking just for fun. Now, of course, when she hits the wall and she turns 30, 35, 40, then she'll be looking for love. And by then, her heart has turned and she'll be looking more for convenience although she would want love love would never come for her because such a creature will lose its ability to love and therefore seek convenience and what i and what i mean by convenience is monetary value in a guy only and this is the natural process for the beast hot love when it's young although short-lived and it gets older and can no longer have such feelings for someone and it seeks the convenience of a man taking care of it typical and obvious dating patterns for the fee beast now i wonder what daddy steve harvey the mega and the super simp has to say about this and I believe he has no problem with his stepdaughter going from this guy to this guy to this guy to this guy. Because in true SIMP fashion, he probably believes that this is healthy and she has to kiss a lot of frogs before finding a prince and all this other stuff that H to the Izzos tell themselves these days to justify the thoughtery. And I don't understand that because as beautiful as she is, her beauty is lessened, for lack of a better word. Her beauty is slighted, for lack of a better word, because of the availability of the V. If you're sharing your beauty and your inner essence, if you know what I mean, with everyone, then that takes away the value, that takes away the beauty. Simple supply and demand. High in demand, but scarce means value. If you know what I mean, you get what I'm trying to say. But since Miss Lori Harvey and that V is not scarce and she's willing to share with anyone in Hollywood who's popular, then there's essentially no value there. Who will be next in line to deal with Lori? How long will she ride the carousel next? And again, this is typical of the modern creature and i have to say mr steve harvey if Lori was my daughter her ways her carousel riding would surely break my heart but in today's society in today's world it's okay for your daughter to ride the carousel to go from guy to guy to guy 
what should be shameful and heartbreaking is worn as a badge of honor, congratulated and promoted. What a world we're living in today. And that's a shame. Black Ram 313 reporting the news for the network. I am out.